Well, there's some weather coming in. I gotta be to the airport at I think 5 or 5.30 a.m. It's home for 24 hours from, uh, uh, where did I come from? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Flew out of Raleigh, Durham. So I'm already in airline mode, which is great news. Except I had a grip truck on my last shoot location. And this time I got to fly with my own lights to do a executive interview. I'm not really an exec, uh, tech company founder, probably a billionaire at this point, but flying up to Salt Lake City, Utah to conduct an interview. And I was supposed to travel home on Saturday, the following day. Today's Thursday, so the shoot's on Friday. But I got to get up there first thing in the morning. I think I get in at like 9 or 9.30 a.m. We shoot out this sit down and then the same thing would be to fly home the following day. But I got to come back for a school thing with my son. So I'm going to red eye home. I think I get out at 1 a.m. on Sunday or excuse me, Saturday. And then I got to be at an 830 at the school. So I'm going to pull out these three airline cases and I have a fourth. Yeah, up there. And we'll pop these open in the garage. Salt Lake City. I'm the only one here. My director and producer's flights were delayed. Yeah, so five hour delay for producer and director coming in from Orange County. So I'm going to shoot it without them. I'll be back at the airport before they get here. They actually bailed. They're just not going to come. We're going to do this whole thing remote over WebEx or Zoom or Teams. I, I forget which. Good thing I brought my laptop for the eyeline. I almost didn't bring it because my producer, actually the director, media manages on this show. So the weather wasn't very cooperative. My one day in Salt Lake and it was rainy and overcast. And we were up in the mountains, could have shot these just epic, scenic, heroic B-roll shots, which we did do, but uh, I just tried to minimize the view and just show more uh, foreground, forest, landscaping, pretty grounds. We ended up shooting out on this balcony with a view off into the distance. It had a gray sky, but uh, it was nice green grass, and you could see some water off in the distance, so I think we are good can't really show much of the setup here because of uh, the location and the content and the subject matter but I did this on the FX9 this is actually a little standalone package there were two other production days for this package and I couldn't do it so I was able to refer it to a buddy that's based in California that shot the two California days I just did Salt Lake I got back to the airport same day 55 megabit upload speed and I pushed all the footage up. Flew home, had a few days off which is when I clocked the three days working on the rental property and then I had to turn around the the gear kit to a new package for a new project that's shooting a Mira and the Pocket 6K on the gimbal. Well it's a beautiful maybe 78 80 degrees Southern California. I'm in Wilmington right uh, in the LAX airport complex. A Spring Hill suite here. This property is kind of dumpy and run down. I got spoiled working in Texas, covering the border, staying in the, the Spring Hill properties in South Texas. They're all new and bigger rooms than this and nice and clean. This one's, yeah, anyway, it's fine. I'm here one night. I've upgraded from the paracord to a dog leash. Terrence, production manager on the project recent, what was it last week? He um, shared this wisdom with me. Not only did he share this idea with me, he actually purchased four dog leashes for me. So I tried uh, strapping two of them together, but I couldn't get the distance quite right for my airline carry on roller. So I'm still using the sash. I think I'll get there. I was rushing. I was standing on the sidewalk at the airport trying to get it dialed. But uh, anyway, that large dog collar, fully extended, is the perfect length because the case is freestand when tilted. It's 
space looks so good on camera. It looks amazing. Yeah, Yeah, and you get some of the color and the art on the walls and the glass panels, a little bit of everything. Well, the two and a half year trend continues. Another corporate campus that's basically empty. We get free reign to pretty much shoot wherever we want. The beautiful healthcare facility, Manhattan Beach, California. They actually filmed a bunch of the Mandalorian here because it was empty and available since everyone's work from home. So we uh, shot out some, uh, an interview set up, you can see here, and then I spent about an hour and a half shooting some gimbal B-roll. We staged a few action shots and got out of there and had lunch at my favorite Cuban place. And my flight was delayed, what ended up being over four hours. LAX, such a nightmare. So there was enough seating for, I'd say, every two out of three people. So I stood for the majority of that four hour delay and then the restroom had three stalls available with a line out into the terminal. Love LAX. So I got in at like 3 or 3.30 a.m. the next morning. I think I was home by 4 a.m. And I got up at 6 or 7 because I had to make a, I think an 8 a.m. call time in San Antonio the next morning. Uh, so anyway, I managed to sleep a little bit on the plane and maybe two hours at the house. And this is just how things go. Everything stacks up at once, or people want to shoot on the exact same day, always a Wednesday. Or you go two weeks to a month with no bookings. See you on the next one.